Hi, this is Carla from DIY Happy Home. I purchased this thankful and blessed sign at the Dollar Tree and plan on redesigning it to match the heirloom pumpkin decor in my home. Let's get started. I removed the jute hanger, the metal leaf, and the raffia bow. And now I am painting the pumpkin with a combination of cobalt blue with a couple drops of yellow and I added some Waverly white chalk paint. And here you can see I have two versions of the colors. One is a little bit lighter with a little more of the white added and one is a shade darker so that I can do some outlining and shading. And here I am drawing lines on the pumpkin to mimic the grooves of the pumpkin. Here I have some home decor folk art wax in brown and I'm going to do a little bit of antiquing of the pumpkin stem and also the metal leaf. I spray painted the leaf with this antique pewter spray paint. And now I'm using the wax to antique it. And then I decided to use some of the folk art brown wax on the pumpkin as well. I painted it on and used the damp paper towel to remove some of the wax. And here I am doing the same thing to the metal leaf. I also purchased this white plastic coated wire basket at the Dollar Tree and painted it with the same pewter spray paint. I decided to use some of the folk art brown wax to antique the basket as well. And here our new six month old kitten Millie is trying to see what I'm doing. <laughs> I take some of the Waverly white chalk paint and I use a dry brush method, uh, which is basically blotting it on a paper plate to get some cool brush stroke marks on the pumpkin. And then my paint dried out, so I had to mix more paint. So I used the Apple Barrel Cobalt Blue, a couple drops of yellow, and some Waverly white chalk paint to mix a little bit more paint. Here I am using the dry brush method again, this time with that cement aqua color uh, paint. And I want the outlines a little more defined, so I am quickly tracing over them again with a smaller brush. I decide to add a little dimension to the pumpkin stem by gently brushing on a little bit of paint. To mute the white, I add a little bit of the Folk Art Brown Wax. I am using this printable from SincerelySaraD.com. Thank you, Sarah. I'm planning on using some of the font for this project. To attach the wire basket, I basically drilled two holes on either side and ran some jute through it and just tied the jute on the back and it holds the basket rather nicely. And here I am with the printable. I'm planning on using the font at the top and the bottom today and I'm tracing over the back with a pencil so I can transfer this lettering. I'm going to basically hand letter the pumpkin and I'm cutting it out and visually placing it on there so I can get my spacing right. And I plan to use my mechanical pencil here. Uh, the lead is, is not down, it's basically pushed back so that I can trace the lettering onto the pumpkin uh, so that I may hand letter it.
And here I've got my super fine Sharpie, and that is what I'm going to use to trace over the markings that I left with the pencil. I'm using a ruler to help me get some of the, the text and the arrow straight. I plan on filling the wire basket with these clip-on white pumpkins that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I did buy two sets, so I have six pumpkins I can use to fill the basket. And here I'm using some super glue to adhere the metal leaf to the front of the wire basket. And here I have some greenery that I purchased from Joanne and they are called the Blooming Autumn Collection so they were half off or maybe even 60% off I can't remember but I the bunches are basically they were $2.99 each so I got them for a great deal uh, and in this arrangement I'm just going to use one bunch today and kind of take the floral apart so that I can spread them out um, appropriately in the basket. When I first arranged it, I had the greens off to one side, but in the final arrangement, you'll notice that I did spread the greens apart and I have them kind of dispersed around the whole arrangement. Here is the final heirloom pumpkin craft. I do love the way it turned out. This was my first time trying uh, hand lettering and I think it turned out pretty good. And I will definitely attempt to do some hand lettering in the future. Please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button to my channel. It really does help my channel. And also, please feel free to like, share, and comment. I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this craft and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. And don't forget, all of these projects and how-to instructions are available on DIYHappyHome.com. Thanks again. Have a great one.